And this is your Matrix Minute. Still on trouble about using a virtual open house? How about trying a desktop virtual open house? What's that? You actually will take your virtual tour and use that as a virtual open house. I got a call the other day, or actually weeks ago, asking if they can use a virtual tour as a virtual open house. And the answer was yes. So you can take your 360 virtual tour, your Matterport, your virtual tour videos, your slideshows, even your pictures, as long as you broadcast them live. So why would the buyer just go to the virtual open house watching the virtual tour? That was a good question. So I actually went on the virtual open house and I saw somebody using a, their virtual tour. And the interesting part is that uh, the clients or the buyers were actually asking a lot of good questions like, is the lanai, are you able to enclose the lanai? Uh, is there an uh, extra parking stall that they could rent uh, for the unit? Uh, is the unit on the cool side? Uh, is it pet friendly? And that's why uh, they like the virtual open house. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how he did that. So on open house day, he opened his virtual tour. In this case, it's just pictures. He opened Zoom, clicked on with video on. He's actually broadcasting. And then at the bottom, he's going to click sc uh, share screen. So he's going to go ahead and select his desktop where his virtual tour is and click share. Now he's broadcasting live to all of these different uh, people. So, and you'd go through just like how you would in a normal open house. Describe the property, six bedroom, six and a half bath, 6,000 square feet under the roof or living area. And you have all these exotic type of materials like tile, wood, you have a really high-end upgraded kitchen and so forth. And then that's how he did it. Don't worry, we have a YouTube channel, High Central MLS with videos, how to set up a Zoom meeting, Facebook Live meeting, and follow us on social media. And thank you for watching The Matrix Minute.